What's up people, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So for today, I'm gonna give you a quick and easy way to make a song edit. But before I start, if you could do me a huge favor, hit that like button down there. It'll help my algorithm so more people can see this video. If you don't subscribe, you better subscribe, people. I got a lot coming, a lot. So picture it, you're doing a couple's wedding, it's coming up, and they ask you a huge favor. They want this first dance song, but they don't want this verse in it. Can you just cut that verse out for us and send it back? Or can you shorten it? The song's just a little too long. And you're not a music producer, you know? You don't know how Ableton works or any of these like fancy programs work, because trust me, they're complicated as shit, right? How do you do it? I used to just set up my DJ equipment and make cue points and then record in Serato and just live do it and mess up 10,000 times before I got it right, but it was super time consuming. I had to set everything up, I had to record it, get it right, hope it was right, hope the volume was up enough, it sounded, it was just, the whole thing was a pain in the ass. Well, fear not people, I'm gonna show you the solution. So for this solution, you're gonna need some type of editing program. Now, I use Adobe Premiere Pro, some people use Final Cut, I know it'll work in Final Cut. I think it should work in the free stuff too, like iMovie, things like that. All you need is an editing program for video, and the ability to export as an mp3 or any type of audio file because you can always convert it as well and that's it and I'm going to show you how to do it right now all right so now we're over here on my computer I brought up Premiere Pro and I loaded in Butterfly Kisses by Bob Carlisle so what I want to do here is I want to take out that line in Butterfly Kisses that says sweet 16 today <laughs> Because, like, you know, a lot of brides use this as their parent dance, but they're not turning Sweet 16 that day. That's their wedding or whatever, and most brides don't want that. So we're going to take that out, and I'm going to show you how to easily do this right now through Premiere. So we got the song in here, right? So it's green. It's audio only. So I'm going to listen to it. Oh, beautiful. All right, so at first got to find that line. I think it's a second verse, if I'm correct. Bang! We don't want that. Alright, so that's the line we want. So what I try and do is like, alright, so basically this line is the beginning of a verse, right? So I want to take that entire verse out then, and instead of starting with that verse, take the next verse afterwards to start with. Or, if it's a bridge or whatever it is, to try and make this work, so. All right, so that's the beginning of the verse. So what's the next beginning of something? Okay. Okay, that's it. Right. Bang, she'll change her name today, which is super relevant. She's going to change her name that day. Unless, like, she's one of those that don't, but, you know. So let's start right there. She'll change her name. All right, so she'll change her name today. Bang. We go back to the Sweet 16 today part. It's like right around here. That's oh, Butterfly Kisses. Where's the Sweet 16? Bang. Okay, so now we're at Sweet 16. So we kind of put it. So when you're editing, too, you can kind of see right here, like, it, where the, the vocals kind of start, right? Because it's, like, flat and then... So, right, so it's like sweet, right? So we don't want any of this. So I'm gonna try and go right before that. And it's trial and error, right? So um, if you're not aware with Premiere, you know, C or V is cut. So, you know, V is just gonna be the pointer so I can click things, you know, click this. And then C is my cutting tool. So I'm gonna make a little slice right before here. And then I'm going to, I already made a slice right before the beginning of the next verse, right? So we're gonna cut out this whole middle part. Peace out. Bang. I'm going to put this together. Probably sound like shit, but we're going to adjust it. Alright, so it's a little off, right? It, it came in a little weird, so we want to get the timing right. So. She'll change. So I feel like it should come in right there, right? So I usually like try and like judge it, right? She'll change and then bang and I slam the fucking space bar uh, in the right spot. And it's usually kind of accurate, right? So that's where I slam the space bar. 
We have the beginning of the note here. Let's see if it works here, right? So we're just making our adjustments. And keep in mind too, when it comes to um, you know editing on Premiere, the biggest thing that you can't do with this is you can't like quantize like your BPMs or anything like that. Like, you can't change that without like making it. You know, there's no uh, pitch lock. You know, so it, this is great for editing one song. You know what I mean? Like just one song, and it's obviously the whole song's the same BPM. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff and cutting out little parts. But like if you're like making a mix or putting multiple songs together, I mean, you're not going to be able to do that in premiere this is just great for like kind of like one little thing because it doesn't have that otherwise you got to go to ableton and all that other stuff see it's still a little off a little early yeah it's just a little early maybe just do like i'm just gonna keep so when i'm close i kind of just do one frame at a time i think that's accurate but we just have that weird All right, so I think that might be accurate, but it's just kind of like a weird thing. So what we're gonna do with that is, if you go up here to the effects panel, audio transitions under crossfade, a constant power. What that does, it's almost like a, it's like an automatic fade, right? It fades it kind of in for you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make this a little smaller so it's not as obvious, and see if it kind of smooths it out. I feel like it's just a little off, shit, hold on. She'll, yeah, it should just come. I, I think I'm too early on this. I really am. I, I, I should have kept it where it was. So we're going to bring this back here. Let me do that space thing again. She'll change name today. So Banks, we're going to put it right there. And is this right? Though? See, maybe at that too. Like maybe I should just take a little bit away from this. Yeah, like right at that shh. So I'm just gonna start it like right, like a frame over, and just see what that does. We want the timing to be right, and then we can use that effect to kind of smooth it out. All right, so let's see if the effect smooths it out and it sounds better. Obviously, I picked a pretty hard song here because like it's not like they like used a metronome with this shit. Yeah, it's not bad. Bang! We got it, people. Right? So it's just going to go all the way through. Now the entire song is only three minutes long, and uh, it's good to go. So it's without that Sweet 16 part. So then the next step, um, the next step would be you want to go to File, Export, Media, and you're going to do MP3 only, right? Because this is just MP3. So always hit entire sequence down here. For the format, you go up here and you click MP3. You want it to be 256, so it's nice and good quality. And then you export here. And that's it. You got yourself an edit. Easy peasy. And that's it, people. I hope this helps. I'm sorry I didn't do the research. Like, I'm not sure about what free programs are out there that would work. I think iMovie should work and a couple others. Just do some research. But like, honestly, that's all you need. You just need an editing program where you can chop things up, and that's it, you export it as MP3 and you're good. It's super, super easy. You'll get good at it as you do it more and more. I mean, we're all good with music, you know, we're inclined with that sort of thing, so I'm sure you'll pick it up quick. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments, I'll get right back to you, and I'll see you guys next video.